Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Michael B. I hope you are doing great today. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe and or leave a comment. And while we are at it, smash that like button and the notification bell too. I will surely bring you more videos on simulation, survival and strategy games every week. If you've been here before, welcome back! Hello fellow farmers, welcome back to PV County, welcome back to update number 11. Now I'm running a little bit behind and I thought it was pretty difficult to find the update 11 because I couldn't find it on the PV mod site. I had to find it uh, via a link uh, from the Facebook group, um, so that's just what it is. Um, we have had some updates and I have not been able to find the release notes, so it's gonna be a little on uh, what I have experienced so far. Um, first up, we uh, we got some updates at the DeMont and uh, well, let's hear where we're gonna start. I've been looking a little around and uh, the only thing I can remember, there was some thingy imaging over here that was floating in the air. That's not to be found anymore, so I guess that's gone. Else everything looks just the same. Just as cool as it's always been. Uh, things are progressing a little bit down here. I think I want to crank up time just a little bit so we can see if there's some production going on. Uh, they are working flat out down here. It's wonderful to see. The next thing is, there was uh, a gold bank truck. A gold bank truck. What's that all about? Well, very intriguing. Going to the shop and I think I found it under the trucks. Yes, there it is, the bank truck. What's that all about? Well, it collects gold. Okay. And in that connection, there's been some updates for the gold master as well. So we're going to take a look at that right now. We got the two gold masters placed up here. They are very, very noisy, so I'm just gonna keep my distance a little bit. And then I just have to remember to turn down the volume of the game. Gonna have a little break so I can uh, make a cut. There we go. And uh, I've been uh, emptying out this uh, clean fill, so it's ready to be sold. I haven't tried that before, so I thought, well, why don't we try to do that today? There's the gold truck. It's right there. And, uh, well, what can it do? Well, the gold truck, uh, as I said, it, uh, it can uh, it can hold gold. Uh, if we're gonna press F1, then it says here you can start the engine and you can turn on the auto loader. We can even open the door. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. And I even got some gold in there. Of course I did. I wanted to try to test it out. Look at these big jars of gold. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool looking. I really like that. And uh, we can just press set and then start auto loading uh, the gold if there was any so i'm gonna start the uh, the car up drive a little bit forward then get out and then we can just start spawning some gold we got 2411 units so let's try to spawn some gold for the maximum 12 pellets boom there we go they are just right here how awesome is that gold 200 liters per jar all right Let's back this bad boy up, zoom out a little so we can see something, and it should be uh, loaded into the truck. It should be loaded into the truck. No? Oh, there we go. Just remember to push the right buttons. That might help. There we go. Cool. Let's empty it out, more or less. Let's close the door, and we can just drive on to the next. So I just believe we can drive this down to any bank and sell it. Just uh, go over here and continue the process. We got oh, almost 6,000. Right. That's going to take a lot of jars, right? All right. Cool. Let's close the door again. And let's go down uh, to the bank. Now I will say uh, I have uh, increased or I have reset my graphic uh, uh, settings because I'm playing on other maps uh, now and uh, I will say that uh, well, we are running 17 frames per second down here but there's so many things right there's orchards there's all the storage all the storages uh, but moving a little away looking the other directions it's around 30 to 40 frames that's a huge improvement I'm not sure if there's been any updates to the uh, 
to the performance, uh, but it seems like it. I could be wrong, but at least in my case, or either I've changed something that I wasn't aware of, <laughs> that might be the case too. Uh, then it uh, runs uh, a lot smoother now. Uh, so hopefully uh, we can keep up uh, with the updates. That would be really lovely because I do love this map. I do love it. So let's uh, take a wish down here to um, to the bank. I know there's a bank down here. Probably one closer. No, I don't think so. Now let's go to the Animal Island and uh, see what's going on. Yeah, and the other files that's been updated as well. Of course, the uh, the main map, the Pleasant Valley County map uh, map file has been updated, and the assets file as well. Of course, when you're gonna do changes, that needs to be updated as well. Most likely, that is. And then there's been some update to the uh, auto loader. I've been looking through the settings, and I can't seem to find something that just pops up. Uh, hey, I've been changed. Look at me. Uh, so it might be something that I didn't notice before, or just some modifications uh, here and there. I uh, just wanted to take a whisk down here at the shop, because I was started cleaning up some stuff. And when I came down here, that was a really, really a big mess. Look at these uh, power lightning bolts here. They were just scattered around the place like, yeah, one big mess. So I just put them up here in the trailer. I'm not really sure what we're going to do about it. Uh, I think we could go to, uh, of course, the power plants and then try to shove them back in. Um, they're giving a little bit of a lag. Um, I'm not really sure why they're down here. You're not supposed to be down here, right? You're supposed to be in the power plants. Yeah, that's the whole idea. Um, else, we got a lot of glass lying around. And I just uh, try to you know, clean up a little bit, so we're going to come back to that later. And then I have a really, really strange experience. Um, we're also going to come back to that. That was in the connection with the uh, released graveyard. Yes, you heard correct. A graveyard. What's that all about? I have no idea, but it sounds intriguing. It sounds intriguing. And uh, then there's also some presents. Some presents? Yes. And I think that has something to do with... Uh, Somebody mentioned uh, there are some Easter eggs around the map. I haven't been able to find any. And uh, I have been looking here, there and there. And what's going on there? Oh yeah, that was the caviar I wanted to sell. We've got a lot of caviar still. Oh, it handles really well, this truck. Um, so we're going to sell some caviars as well. Um, let's see, the bank is just here on the other side. Right? Just, yeah, force the curbs. Right, so how are we going to do this? Uh, unload. And like so, put you here, and why? Uh, no. Okay, you're not supposed to be uh, sold here. Yes, you are. Oh, you're just teasing me a little bit, eh? So what we got for that each? Yes, we can sell it. Uh, we can also use it in the um, production line, right? But I think we got enough lead and silver and all that stuff, so I don't need to worry about that right now. Just want to see how much we got for it. And I can see we got something about... Um, what are you selling? It's difficult to get a problem. Yeah, there we go. 7,800 per, per uh, glass of jar here. Looks like it. Yeah, okay. There we go. That was a pretty good profit. Wow, cool. Um, let me just take a look before I say something that's not correct. There we go. The connector here at the electronics takes gold, and we got a lot of gold. So we don't need to worry about that. But yeah, the gold you can sell for a very good profit, or you can bring it down here to Ele Del Electronics. Uh, just remember that you need it a little bit in the production line. So uh, yeah, don't don't sell it all at once. I was just scrolling down the line here, just looking for some products. And uh, then all of a sudden, in the very, very end here, I just saw something. And I just said, what? What is that? Um, that is here. Present one, two, and three. Look at the money. huh? Almost 60,000 for each. What's that all about? And here's the empty coffin. Yep. And a deceased body. Um, 
100,000 for a deceased body. And nothing here really was an empty coven. I don't know if we're gonna produce them later on or what, but a deceased body. So they're gonna pop up somewhere or they're just gonna, I don't know. <laughs> it's it's very strange. It's a very strange company. Um, yeah, but uh, even so, I just placed the graveyard just here in the back uh, because, yeah, you know, where else? And that's apparently where we're gonna deliver the, uh, the dead bodies, I should think, with a coven or I'm not. I'm not that sure. Um, there's a there's a spawn point here, um, but else not much uh, we can do about it. Just that it looks uh, like a graveyard. Um, I think you can open close the door. No. Nope. Okay. Um, but then all of a sudden, these two guys they were just here all of a sudden. I mean, a pallet of wool and a, a straw bale. I, I have no idea where they come from. All of a sudden they were here. It's okay, spooky. Yeah, so that's why I thought, well, I better start go cleaning up a little bit here and there. Um, but I think we need to go to sell 400 units of uh, clean fill. So, um, yeah. Where are we going to sell that? Well, let me take a look. See if I can find the clean fill. Might take a little time. There's so many things. So many things. And even more. And still more. There we go. Clean fill. The best price is Port Washington or Thresh Sales. I haven't been at Thresh Sales, so maybe we should take a look. Where is that? That is um, all the way up there next to the, uh, the PMS building. All right. Right, that was a long journey. Um, where do we get rid of this stuff? I never tried this. Is it down here? Or do we go through here? Maybe. Oh, there's a green beam of light there. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. All right, clean fill. Yes, please. How much are we gonna get for that? Seventy thousand for four hundred thousand units. Well, I guess it's just clean fill. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Very, very nice. First and foremost, I wanted to start to clean up a little bit, so uh, going the way all the way back down to the shop again. And then I think we're gonna try to uh, sell some glass and some, yeah, leftover thingies. Well, those is over here for the glass, right? Yes. And they got the selling point right there, I think. There we go. Five thousand, no, six thousand for the glass. All right. Uh, do you take apples? Oh, who take apples? We really need to go down to the farmer's market then. It's so far away. Apples, let's see. Ah, you know what? We're gonna take back to the main main storage facilities because uh, the stones can go in the quarry silo and the apples, they can go in the farmer's market. So, uh, yeah, please hold on. Oh, there we go. Just clean up a little bit of all these pellets that's lying around hither and there. Right, we go to the farmer's market. Oh, hold on, there's a safe. Can we uh, get this? Yes, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, I've forgotten this safe so long. Now it's time. It's time to sell it. Eee! Orchard products, there we go. Yep, now we go down to the shop again <laughs> to get the rest of the glass. And I'm going to return to Lowe's. Oh, we also got a lot of glass over the uh, little shed we have over here. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Now I remember. Well, I guess we have more than 11, right? Oh, what is this? <gasps> 130,000. Ooh, that's a good save. Yep. That's good money. We're really bringing in the cash today, eh? No, it's not going in here. It's going to Frito Lace. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, come with me for a little ride. 
we're going that way anyways. Alright, how many pieces we got in here? Oh, we got so much. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the lightning kit. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, well, it's just a few trips back and forth. It's not that far. It's not that far. Come on, we can do it. Just flow it. First the glass. And then comes the next. The light kits. It's gonna make pretty good profit. Boop. Yeah, 66,000. Yeah, and I forgot the sour cream. I forgot it. I know, I know. <laughs> I was so busy thinking of something else. Well, we're going back there again. You take the goddamn sour cream. Are you maxed out? Hmm. You're not doing anything, guys. What's up with you? It's because you... No, you still got room for it. What's going on? Are you out of power? No. Well, you're maxed out on sour cream. You got power, but you're maxed out on sour cream. And strange things are going on inside. I can see what is... Is that... Okay, that looks very weird. Special fan flies. They, uh, you need to be careful about them. They can be very dangerous. Okay, I'm, I think we're gonna leave again. Didn't see anything. <laughs> right, I think we're gonna park you right over here, and then we're gonna find the uh, loader, auto loader with caviars, and then we're gonna call it an episode. Of update 11 pretty cool update yet another cool update there we go by the way we haven't been up at Fort Knox I need to go take a look at that what is this all about oh so we can just walk in well, this is very intriguing Oh, look at that. Ah, it's here where you can store all your gold. I see, I got it. I completely missed that. Well, 200 million, no, 200 million, yeah. 2 million liters of gold. Input and output. Ah, storage facility for gold. Of course, if we're gonna do a lot of gold. Well, we don't have that much, but uh, yeah, we just sold what we got. Well, we can play around with that next time around. <laughs> Let's take a look. To see how things are stored. Yeah, so I'm going down to the restaurant to sell off the caviars. Uh, I've been looking a little to find the the Aldis, and I know they are there. Um, I just can't locate them right now, and also the price chopper. Um, so we're going to the restaurant, and that's not even that far away. It's just on the other side of the bridge. So uh, let's go do that. And let's see, right there. What does that give us? Hundred and one thousand. <laughs> Yeah, those uh, fish hatcheries, they might be a very good investment, at least in early game. Well, those words, I thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, then, please take care, stay safe, and be splat cool. Bye!